Before performing the measurement, we are going to place markers for each scan point to simplify the later measurement. Place the first scan point marker on the right bottom corner of your scan area. As you remember, we selected a resolution of 2 meters, so we have to place our second scan point marker 2 meters behind the first one. You should use a measuring tape to determine the right distance. We repeat the same procedure for the third scan point marker. So now you reach the final field length of 4 meters, which is what we have entered into the new scan dialog before. In the same way you have to place all other scan point markers for the rest of the scan area. Now all of the scan point markers have a distance of 2 meters to its direct neighbors. After preparing the scan area with scan point markers, you can now start the measurement by tapping on the Start Measurement button. The main measurement screen will appear. It offers all important information about the scan process. Let's have a closer look at the controls. Here on the left top corner you see the status of the wireless connection to the controller and the power box. If the indication is green, everything is alright and the connection is established. Right beneath that you can find the display of the measurement results. Right now there are no values because we have not measured anything so far. In the right top corner you see the progress of the current measurement. Right now there are none of the 27 scanning passes completed. Right beneath that you find the continue button, which is used to start the next scanning pass. But before you push this button, you have to set up your equipment and the electrodes. All important information about setting up the upcoming scanning pass you will find at the bottom of the screen. There you find the positions and distances at which you have to place your equipment during a measurement. The power electrodes are represented by the letter A. Those electrodes must now be placed at the cable marker position 1. This means the power cable drum must be unrolled up to 5 meters to reach the first cable marker. The voltage electrodes are represented by the letter B. Those electrodes must now be placed at the cable marker position 1. But the voltage cable drums must be unrolled completely. Let's now apply these settings to our scan area. First, you are going to place the power box and both power cable drums directly next to the first scan point marker. Then you are connecting the right power cable drum to the power box and unroll it until the first cable marker appears. Take one power electrode and put it directly next to the cable marker into the ground. You may use a hammer to get it in there. Finally, you need to connect the electrode to the cable drum by using one of the short extension cables. Now you have the following situation. So you must repeat the whole process for the left side again. Unroll the power cable drum to the first cable marker, put the electrode into the ground and connect the electrode to the power cable drum by using the second extension cable. This is the current situation. You have set up the power line, which is responsible to inject electrical current into the underground. 
Now we are going to set up the voltage line to measure the underground voltage. Therefore you have to place the controller in front of the power box. Now unroll the right voltage cable drum completely. This is necessary because the cable marker number 1 is on the inner end of the cable. If the cable is completely unrolled, come back to the cable marker number 1, grab the first voltage electrode and put it directly next to the cable marker into the underground. If necessary, use a hammer and connect the cable to the electrode. So now the current situation looks like this and you have to repeat the whole process with the other side. Again, unroll the complete voltage cable drum and come back to the cable marker number 1. Then put the second voltage electrode into the ground and connect it with the cable. Now we have a situation like this. Please make sure that controller and power box are switched on. Pop up the antennas for a better connectivity and get ready to start the first scan pass.